in Okupe, this man. Oh, I suppose now, now I have done uh, a number of, uh, you know, uh, just matter with them. DG, uh, Peter Obi campaign organization in the last presidential election, nine this where they can't get one scandal around him. Say, resign, resign. He, he, he get what you do. He be like, say, they say, he thief money. I don't know. Say, he get one thing, one thing. Where they had, where no money to wear. They won't come use them, come put them, Peter Obi. The Kukumatel has said, resign, no. come out, come on, man, that person take over because you cannot, uh, we cannot afford to have somebody that have you. Questionable character around a, a, a company for a new Nigeria. Now you step aside, another person took over. Hey, hey, get me. Ever since this man stepped aside, and they say he fell sick, I don't know, he can't recover. I don't know whether that sickness he fell, can't recover now. Everything about that can't reset. He can't forget saying that MBD DG. Of Peter Obi campaign organization that was campaigning for Peter Obi to become to become uh, this president. Now he is now talking in the opposite. The way him talk now, if you hear him, if you drag and come up from your screen, slap him. <laughs> now old man, but if you just leave that old man, you could drag and come up from your screen. That like is give him better head boot. You want to hear him talk? Very annoying. Well, I hope watch what he said. A former director general of the Labour Party presidential campaign, Doyo Kupe, has faulted the mantra, Nigeria must move from consumption to production, used by Peter Obi during his 2023 presidential campaign, saying that Peter Obi did not have any policy document to back the mantra. Okupe made the comment on Tuesday while assessing President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's administration. He argued that Tinubu has a superior policy document compared to his challengers in the 2023 elections. Let's take a look. As for Peter Obi, Peter Obi did add, you know, Peter Obi has not, has not given any document to Nigerians as to what he was going to do. I can, I can tell you for a fact. All we were saying was that we want to take Nigeria from consumption to production. Good rhetoric, but is not grounded either in policy development or in principle, applic principle application. But you know, I, I mean, I never supported Bola Tinubu. He's not my person. He's not, he's, he, we're not in the same party. But in retrospect now, his reform, I mean, his agenda, you know, his agenda that he brought, the Renewed Hope Agenda, is the most credible document that can, ad that can address and is addressing the current situation. And as you can see, it is being meticulously applied. Well, all right. Okay. Rafai, let me take some comments before I come to you. Colin Tinubu's reforms, credible, is a stretch when Nigerians are grappling with soaring inflation and economic hardship, as for Obi, substance over rhetoric, he's shown a track record of delivery with or without your policy document. Another Twitter user there goes, proven economic theories for production don't need to be backed up by any policy document. What Peter Obi is saying is not rocket science. Politicizing simple economic theories is a sign of emptiness and failure. And then last Twitter user there goes, while everyone is entitled to their opinion, it's important to critically analyze the substance of each candidate's agenda. Credibility isn't just about promises, but about practical implementation, consistency, and public accountability. Nigerians need leaders whose policies are clearly documented, viable, and centered on solving the country's pressing challenges, not just rhetoric. Let's focus on assessing all leaders objectively for the good of the nation. Uh, Rufi on fire, over to you. <laughs> Oh, wow, well, this politics, eh? that's why I can't come into this your political game. Well, you can't be a politician. I, know, oh, okay. I, don't, I don't have a temperament for it. You should know me. You should know yeah. the things I can do and I can't yeah. do by that. We were just discussing you that, Obwala. No, 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 I, yeah. I don't have the temperament for wishy-washy and okay. all of that. No, I'm sorry. Uh, real quickly, this is the same uh, Don Yokukwe that yes. was running Peter Obi's campaign. We should ask him what changed. Okay, he's in Tinubu's side now, babe. 
He said he's not in Tinubu's side. Though. And he like, said, he said that, that uh, Tinubu's like, uh, just knows policy the man. is good. Yes. Uh, Tinubu's policy is good. <laughs> Can't you see how we are enjoying this in yes. the last 18 months? We are. We are enjoying the pain of his very good policy. It's very good. The next thing he said, he said uh, Peter Obi didn't have a uh, uh, There was policy, no policy document, document to back, on. yeah. Okay, now I'm going to open Peter Obi's manifesto. You can you go and also check uh, page 20, mm -hmm. where he said, shift emphasis from consumption to production by running a production-centered economy that is driven by an agrarian revolution and an export-oriented industrialization. And uh, you can be back, you can see, and he itemized it there, yeah, logistics, the blue chip economy and all of that. So maybe Don Yoku didn't read. But he was the DG of the campaign. How, how could he not have and seen Maybe he has gone due to the alleged, uh, is it corruption, allegation, or whatever, that they said he was also paying one money. Maybe he had gone that time before they wrote the manifesto. Oh, manifest before the manifesto. Okay. And so you yeah, can go and reach page 20 for further, <laughs> <laughs> for, for further studies. Because he, he also needs to tell us the reason why he left the campaign, why they had to lie. Maybe because he was pending uh, allegations of corruption case and all of that. So he should go and reach page 20. It's here. He wrote it here. I believe him. Okay. But I, I just see it. No, no, I can see uh, it. I mean, so, but Rufai, mm -hmm. that basic rhetoric, though, isn't it just, even just in layman but he terms, documented, in terms of, Audrey, even without documenting, You know why I was particular though, about this? You know why I laugh when I heard right. this story? I remember... And I'm not saying this to hold pray for Peter Obi, please. I'm a very factual, empirical human being. Mm -hmm. Peter Obi was not keen on writing a manifesto. I, Rufai, was one of those that kept on pushing. Anytime he came for an interview. Mm. You remember, he would say, oh, it's just a document. They will just write. I said, no. The people deserve a manifesto. You can blame me because in the interviews. I kept on insisting that there must be a manifesto. I remember particularly, and I read through all the manifestos. I still have what President Tinubu talked about is a uh, close to double digit economic growth. All he wanted to do with agricultural boards and everything. I read that he could manifesto. I read all the manifesto letter to letter. That's why I brought it out for Mr. Doing Ogunwe. He has written something on this. I guess you don't call this a policy document. It's in page 20. Mm -hmm. Did you see it? See, from production, I mean, from consumption to production. Say, there is no manuscript. He did not outline his uh, policies very well. There is no document to back up what he said. Uh, I won't do something. Why I need document? Now the document to go do one. No, people with action. What is the one document? Oh, man, I say I won't take them. I go run them like that. Which will be, uh, 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 you know, right time. You know, right with You know what you want to he, 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 he right with To even crown them or self. He right with you want to he write up. When I, when I say, as uh, refer you, say this, take, bring them out. He write me. And they don't refer you now. Do you go, go to page 20 of um, uh, 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 Peter Obi's manifesto? You go see what you define. He, he write for them. And Peter Obi did not even subscribe to all this. They are writing manifesto. You can hear us, uh, refer you, say, you say, refer you, say, if you know for people, they take it. All that write your manifesto, no, they talk right, right. He said, the man not believe in writing anything. All this formality, that rubbish. Action. Action. Now, what do you want? And he did. Okay, they have written that. They don't write 10 paper given. A renewed hope. Alpha. What do they write now? They say Nigeria now. No, be renewed hopelessness in the words of Daniel Boala, that is now a spokesperson of Mr. President. <laughs> no, be renewed hopelessness, you see now. But they write them, document them. The way we will take the anonymous, where well, he must criticize, he done the five foot to chop. Are you not look? Are you not seeing the way he's looking malnourished? When he was with P Toby, was he looking this malnourished? No, now he was looking robust. Not the okay, but now maybe food, not food, no day again. My guy gas chop. If that Ebola can hustle, hustle, hustle after everything that he said about uh, Tinubu, drug baron, certificate forger, thief, give him thirty years, nothing will change. He will never attract even one investor inside this country. He go, 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 go. Everything he talk. He still hustle, hustle, collect appointment. He can't be that you, uh, uh, don't you know, but we don't even talk half of waiting uh, uh, Boala talk. We don't go collect appointment. Oh, God, the house. Now, how's he the house? <laughs> we know now. Now, how's he the house? I want the house to go pay. But I don't know the appointment they won't come give you now. You don't, you don't hold now. So they say you've been getting stroke that time. Eh? Which appointment they, they feel give you now? Okay, they feel give you a special assistant. Or oh, PA. Eh? Personal assistant to Shaitunu. <laughs> Ena. 
May Father God is have son. Where you don't want to rest, they will dignify you with uh, um, an appointment that, 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 that will disgrace you. Go and become PA to show you to the government. If they run for governor, go and be his DJ so they can help you win governor 2027. Who bless people, shameless people. Which you talk to the noble people. And tomorrow night, now you go to call God, 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 Jesus, Jesus, God, God, God. <laughs> See them. I go sooner or later, I beg. For over a decade, this has been the birthplace of innovation. Innocent Vehicles is a testament to resilience, employing international best practices to create more than just a car. Every vehicle here tells a story of durability, fuel economy and safety. Crafted with the African spirit, the Nigerian heart. These vehicles surrounding me embody the unique concept of regionalization, each one designed to cater to the tastes and preferences of our people. From the streets in Nigeria to the terrains of the Sahara, these vehicles are designed for our roads, for our people. This is more than a vehicle. It's a symbol of our progress, our resilience, our collective success story. Your feedback drives us to continuously innovate and improve. Innocent Vehicle, the pride of African roads.